Just here, you're still in for some slowdowns. Millions of people are expected to hit the roads for this Labor Day, and new figures show that more people are just not paying as much attention as they should at intersections. And Makia Turner is joining us live from the roads this morning. And uh, Makia, these are startling numbers. These are, in fact, Andy, it says that more than two people a day are killed by people who simply cannot wait at a red light. This is according to uh, AAA and some of the latest statistics there. Do you want to give you a look at the roads here right now? Uh, pretty quiet right now. It turns out that D.C., when it comes to the DMV, is actually one of the best places when it comes to uh, following the rules. Alarming new data from AAA about this. A worst case scenario, red light runner captured in California. Some worried drivers say it's got to stop. They don't follow the law. So it's just really sad that people have to die because people want to run a red light. And it's deadly. 939 people were killed in 2017 whenever someone ran a red light. That's a 10 year high. Things are bad in our area too. Between 2008 and 2017, Maryland does the worst. 147 people were killed. Virginia, not far behind, with 108. D.C., only six. Sometimes they do it by accident. Other times, you know, they purposefully try to get through that red light. Nearly half of the victims killed in these crashes are not the people who caused them. They're passengers or people in other vehicles. More than 5% were pedestrians and cyclists. Drivers are distracted, they're impatient, and they're reckless. And they're making the decision to run a red light instead of safely stopping. And when it comes to one of the worst places in America for this, uh, Arizona turns out to uh, top the list there. But taking a live look on the streets of D.C. this morning, another study by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says that these uh, red light cameras that you may notice throughout the area, well, that has definitely helped reduce the red light running crash rate by 21%. For now, we are live out of D.C. Makia Turner, back to you.